Great schemes in Brightspace allow you to organize learners' performance on grade items into levels of achievement. Examples include showing letter grades for scores, pass-fail text for scores, as well as many other options that you wish to customize as well. Schemes can be applied to an entire course or specific grade items. Schemes can also be transferable to multiple courses as well. To create a scheme, please follow these steps. Go to your gradebook and then select Schemes. From here, select New Scheme. In this section, you can type a name for your scheme. In this example, I'll make the title Letter Grades. Optionally, if your name is long for your scheme, you can type in a short name that will be displayed instead. In the Ranges table, you can begin to create your scheme. By default, you will be given three rows in the table to start with. In the Symbol column of the Ranges table, in descending order, type the lowest to highest possible symbols a student can achieve. For a letter grade, the lowest possible symbol would be F. The next highest, depending on your scheme, would either be D or D-. In this example, I'll type D and then C. For each row in the Start Percentage column, type the lowest possible score a student would need to achieve each symbol. For example, in row number 2, a student would need to score at minimum a 60% to receive a D for their letter grade. So I would type in 60 in this field. Then in row 3, a student would need to score at least a 70 to receive a C. So I'll type 70. Optionally, in the color column, you can assign a color to each symbol that will be displayed in the gradebook for each item. Please note, however, that you should not make this color visible to students as to prevent them from feeling discouraged on their grade progress. In the Assigned Value Percentage column, for each row, you can type in the assigned numerical value for a symbol. This is useful for select box grade items. When using a select box grade item, you can assign your scheme to the grade item and choose what symbol to assign a student. The assigned numerical value typed for each symbol would then be entered for the grade calculation. If you do not type in an assigned value, it will default to show the SART percentage for each symbol. In this example, I'll type in an assigned value of 0 for the F symbol, 65 for the D symbol, and 75 for the C symbol. In this example, if I used a select box grade item to give a student a C, they would receive a 75% for their score going towards the grade calculation. In the Remove column, you can select the trash can icon in each row, except for row 1, to remove the row entirely. If you wish to add more rows, you can do so in the Number of Ranges field. Here you can type the amount of rows you wish to add. In this case, I'll type 2. Then, I'll select Add Ranges. Now I can type the remaining information in these two fields by adding a B and an A 
letter grade. Once finished, select Save and Close. To apply a scheme to individual grade items, follow these steps. Go to the Enter Grades tab of your gradebook. And select the arrow next to the grade item you wish to apply a scheme to. Then select Edit. In the Grade Scheme area, select the scheme you wish to apply this grade item to. Then finish by selecting Save and Close. Now, we can see the letter grades applied only for this grade item. To apply a scheme to your entire gradebook, you would go to the Schemes area of your gradebook, and then you would select the check mark next to the scheme under the Set as Default column. Once clicked, confirm that you want to apply the scheme to your entire gradebook. Now, all of the grades in your gradebook should show a letter grade. To copy a scheme from one course to another, begin by going into the course you wish to copy the scheme into. Then select Grades. And then Choose Schemes. From here, select More Actions, and then Copy. This will show you every scheme that is present in each course where you are listed as an instructor. Once you find the scheme you wish to copy, select it. Then, you can type the new name of the scheme that will be applied to the new course. Once finished, select Copy. Thank you for watching. For more Brightspace related content, please subscribe to our channel.